you don't want to have to worry about your car being broken into, having your belongings stolen, having to cancel all of your credit cards, your debit card. Christy Pletcher goes to F45 Fitness Gym on Penn Avenue in the early morning hours when police say Ellis Jackson committed his crimes. According to a criminal complaint, Jackson learned the schedule of the 45 minute classes so he knew exactly when to break into the cars. It was definitely scary because you just kind of parked your car like not knowing, OK, is this the morning that my car gets broken into? And I felt so bad for everybody that got their stuff stolen. Police say some of the items Jackson stole included laptops, wallets and iPhones. We we're just locking our cars and just making sure no phones or anything was in there. The precaution that I took is that I just put my purse if I brought it with me in the trunk of my car or um, some mornings I would just bring my wallet and then take it in with me to uh, the gym. There was nothing we really could do. That's the only thing. Police say a victim's stolen cell phone helped them eventually identify Jackson. When the victim pinged her phone, she saw it was in West Newton. She called police. Shortly after, they discovered Jackson stayed at that same location and matched his description to the surveillance video taken outside of the gym. I, yeah, I just hope it doesn't happen again. According to court papers, Jackson admitted to stealing from a local bar in the past. Police say there was a total of at least five break-ins in this area.